we're going to talk about the difference between an apple and a peach tree. In my hands here we have a branch with a spur connected to it and the spur is a small stubby branch and you can see right now it's swelling the scales are opening up and you can see a little bit of green which is the leaf and the buds starting to emerge. The fruit occurs on apples the spurs. If we take a look at a water sprout from an apple tree, this is one big long four or five foot long branch and if we look real close at the buds here, they are significantly different than the buds found on a spur. These buds are going to produce leaves but no blossoms. What we're going to do is we're going to contrast the difference between the apple and the peach. I'm standing in front of a, uh, a medium to small size peach tree and here we have a real young branch. This is like the equivalent of a water sprout in an apple tree. And if we look real close you can see these lateral buds are also swelling. The scales are separating and opening up. And these water sprouts, these young vigorous branches are where the fruit occurs on a peach. And you can see a few of these buds just have leaves on it. Not all of them are going to produce flowers. Some of them have flower buds, some just have leaf buds. But this is one of the main differences between apples and peaches. The apples produce flowers on the terminal bud of a spur. The peaches produce flower on last year's brand new wood. We want to make sure when we're pruning that we're eliminating the water sprouts on an apple tree, leaving the spurs, but then we also on peaches want to make sure that we prune vigorously every year so that we produce a lot of new growth so that we can get fruit occurring on that new growth on the peaches.